Hi guys, today we're going to be reading The Dominican Republic. This is a book all about the Dominican and it's by Amy Reckner. This book is a nonfiction book, which means that it is not fake, it's real. So some of the text features or things that we have in nonfiction books are a table of contents and this tells you all the different sections and what page it starts on. So here we have history under the sun. On a warm sunny day, a family explores the ancient town of Santo Domingo. They see 500 year old Spanish style buildings. Lively music plays in shops as they walk by. They visit the Alcazar de Colón or the place of Columbus. The son of Christopher Columbus built it in 1510. So it was a really long time ago. Another text feature of nonfiction are real photographs and they have captions to tell you what the picture is about. Their next stop is the Museo de las Cosas Reales or Museum of the Royal Houses. The tourists, which are people that travel to a different country, marvel at artifacts from the Spanish settlers and the island's Taino native peoples. Then they enjoy fresh fruit smoothies. On the outdoor cafe, history, beauty, and sunshine are all around. This is the Dominican Republic. And they have other top sites here. Here is the Aguas Blancas waterfall. Here is the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Incarnation, a church. Here we have caves at Three Eyes National Park. And down below, we have a really pretty beach called Samana Bay. This is the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic is on the island of Hispaniola and covers 18,792 square miles. It covers the eastern two thirds of the island. So this is the Dominican and the other area of the island is Haiti, part in white. It is the second largest in the West Indies. The Dominican Republic's shores are washed by waves from the Atlantic Ocean to the north and the Caribbean Sea to the south. Puerto Rico lies 80 miles east across the Mona Passage. The capital city of Santo Domingo lies on the country's south central coast. Oh, and right here they have a little tidbit. It says, Columbus lands in America. Hispaniola was one of the first places Christopher Columbus landed in December 1492. He thought it was Japan. Santo Domingo is the oldest city Europeans built in the Western Hemisphere that is still lived in. Landscape and climate. Four forest and mountain ranges stretch across the Dominican Republic from east to west. The main mountain range is the Cordillera Central. It includes Pico Durante, the Caribbean's highest peak. Squeezed between the mountain ranges are lowlands of dry grass and shrubs and valleys, a fertile or really good farmland that grows crops. River systems flow down the mountains into valley lakes and the Caribbean Sea. And here we have a really nice picture of a beach. The Dominican Republic has a mild tropical climate. The country's mountains and occasional northeast winds keep temperatures cooler. Heavy rains fall in the northeast. Hurricanes are a threat from August to October. And up here it says trade winds. The cooling wind that blows from northeast to southwest is called a trade wind. It was named by sailors who needed that wind to sail their trading ships westward. And here it says in Santo Domingo, the average seasonal highs and lows in January, it's between 84 degrees and 72 degrees. In January, oh, in April, it's between 82 and 73. In July, it can get up to 95. And in October, it's usually in the 80s. Now we have wildlife. Much of the Dominican Republic's wildlife has been hurt by habitat loss. 
but the island is still home to a number of diverse species. The remaining forests provide shelter for bright birds like parrots and parakeets. Blunt-headed tree snakes slide among the trees. These are the tree snakes. The rare rat-like Huida and Hispaniola solindon dwell in the forests and on rocky hillsides. Dwarf geckos, giant tarantulas, and rhinoceros iguanas creep about. So here are some of the animals in the Dominican. Pelicans, flamingos, and herons wade through lagoons and coastal waters in search of food. Humpback whales, turtles, and bottlenose dolphins swim offshore. Right here it says, a trilling chirp. Palm chats are the national bird of the Dominican Republic. So there's the bird. They are only found on the island of Hispaniola. The palm chat's chirp is a loud trilling sound. And it says, this is the Hispaniola rhinoceros iguana. It's lifespan, so it lives for about 20 years. And it is vulnerable on the extinct scale, meaning it's not endangered yet, but it's close to be. People. The tiny town of Sosa was settled by Jewish migrants. They fled Nazi Germany in 1940. They built the town and started successful farms. Most of the Dominican Republic's 10.7 million people are the descendants of the European settlers and African slaves. Many have both European and African roots. There are small Arab, Jewish, and Asian populations too. A community of migrants from Haiti has also made its home there. The country's official language is Spanish. Dominican life is shaped by family and religion. Most Dominicans are members of the Roman Catholic faith. Many have blended it with other spiritual practices. Some people follow the African practice of voodoo. It's called Gaga in the Dominican Republic. And it says, famous face. His name is Al Horford. His birthday is June 3rd, 1986. His hometown is Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic. And he's famous for power forward with the Boston Celtics, supporter of anti-bullying, reading programs, and wild aid. Communities. Rural villages are often built around a church and shops. Several generations of a family may share a home. Houses are made of wood or cement. They may have metal or thatched roofs. Cooking is often done outside to keep the houses cool. Farming jobs are hard to find, so many people now live in cities where they can find work. People often lived in crowded neighborhoods. The increased population has made apartment living common. Walking and bicycling make it easier to get around busy streets. There are also mini buses and taxis. Santo Domingo has a subway that goes north-south or east-west. Customs. Dominicans are warm and welcoming. Most people greet each other by shaking hands. Close friends and family exchange hugs and kisses. People use lively gestures and share humor and laughter. Social time is important in Dominican life. Guests are always welcomed with generosity and delight. Since spending time with family and friends comes first, being late for appointments or work is often okay. Dominican manners reflect their Hispanic heritage. They are respectful and friendly. One way they show this respect is by addressing older people as Don or Dona. It means sir or madam. And it says, words with history. Although the culture of the Dominican Republic is mostly Spanish, the Taino language lives on. Many Taino words have made their way into English, like canoe, Caribbean, potato, and hurricane. School and work. Education depends on locations and wealth in the Dominican Republic. 
Rural areas only have a few schools, but primary school is free to all children ages 7 to 14. Middle and secondary school follow for those who can afford it. Dominican farming produces fruit, coffee, and cacao. Large farms grow cotton and sugarcane. Factory workers process sugarcane into sugar products. Textile workers make clothes like cotton t-shirts and pants. Most Dominicans work in service jobs. Tourism is the largest employer of service workers. Others may work in government and housekeeping. Many travel to the United States in search of work. The most delicious plant. Cacao is an important crop in the Dominican Republic. It is a dried seed found inside a hard yellow pod. It is the basic ingredient in cocoa and every other chocolate product. Play. The Dominican Republic summertime weather allows people to spend their free time outside. Baseball is the national sport. Dominicans cheer for their favorite professional teams and enjoy playing pickup games with friends and neighbors. Many Dominican baseball players go on to play on major league teams. Boxing and basketball are also popular sports. And down here it says, feel the beat. The music of the Dominican Republic has a strong African influence. Merengue is a dance as well as a kind of music. It has a strong beat from a two-sided drum called a tambora. Music and dancing are enjoyed night and day. In the cities, people visit clubs to listen to live music and dance. Many dance parties come together in the streets when musicians began to play. Friends and family gather to chat and play games like dominoes. And down here it has a game, El Penuela, and it just tells you how to, how to play the game. Food. Dominican food combines the flavors of African, Spanish, and Taino cuisine. Rice and beans are the base for most dish dishes. Pork and chicken are popular meats when they are available. Fruits like mangoes, papayas, and guavas are locally grown and enjoyed at every meal. Breakfast is often, is often mango or mashed plantains and coffee with sugar. The national dish, la bandera, often appears on tables for lunch. It features rice, red beans, meat, and salad. Dinners are light and may include eggs, fruit, or leftovers from lunch. Desserts include fresh fruit or custards and cakes like tres leches. And down here, it just gives you a recipe for a little drink. Celebrations. The entire month of February is a long celebration car called Carnival. It honors the Dominican Republic's independence and the beginning of the Catholic season of Lent. Villages enjoy parades, costumes, music, and dancing every weekend. February 27th is Independence Day and the most important day of festivities. Semana Santa is Holy Week. It is a quiet week of prayer and worship. The week ends on Easter Sunday. Families celebrate by enjoying beach time together. Haitian and African traditions are celebrated during Semana Santa, too. Local Gaga drum celebrations welcome spring with music and dance. Other festivals honor patron saints, national heroes, and the rich culture of the Dominican Republic. You can see some people dancing. And this is a little timeline. It says 800 to 200 BCE. Waves of the Taino people inherit the Caribbean islands. And then 1492, Christopher Columbus discovered lands on Hispaniola. Haitian soldiers enter the Dominican Republic. In 1844, De Dominicans declare independence from Haiti. The United States occupies Dominican Republic from 1916 to 1924. Rafael Trujillo becomes Trujillo becomes dictator and stays in control until he is 
killed by a traitor. There was a hurricane. The Dominican Republic held its first general elections in 1962. And here are some more facts about the Dominican. This is its flag. And they say that a lot of people live in the city. 80% of people live in cities and 19% live in the countryside or farmland. And here it says that most jobs are services, 14% of jobs are farming, and then 20% of them are manufacturing. And some main exports, things that the Dominican sells to other countries, gold, silver, cacao, sugar, coffee beans, and tobacco. And it says that the national holiday is Independence Day, which is in February, and this is its money. So another text feature that we have in nonfiction books is a glossary, and it tells you some important words and what they mean. So it's basically a dictionary of some words. And then there's also an index. So if we want to learn more about activities in the Dominican, we can go to page 20 and 21. All done. See you guys later. Bye.